All right, YouTube, everybody out there, uh, Takati Bayou here. Uh, just gonna make a, a quick video on uh, on <laughs> what I carry um, with me most of the time. Um, been doing a lot of hunting. I'll throw this bag in and take it with me. Um, just some things that I thought I might need, um, and it's uh, actually a, a multi-use bag. Uh, it's just a just a Remington uh, backpack. Uh, nothing special about it. Uh, Twenty-five dollar bag at the most. You know, uh, I'm not into buying those hundred dollar <laughs> backpacks like you see <clears throat> in other places. You know, uh, I got to watch what I spend on things, and and so this is uh, this has worked out good for me. I added added my Gadsden flag patch on there. Um, First of all, um, one thing I always carry, always carry some water with me. Um, this is a Sub Zero stainless steel um, water container. Um, usually, just fill it up with water, or um, maybe add some uh, uh, those single packet tea mixes or something. That uh, I've always got, always got something to drink. Um, so yeah, that that works out good. In the front pocket here, um, use this a lot in deer season. Um, I'll carry some paper and a pen. Uh, I have a, a lifetime Indiana hunting license, and so we just make our own tags as we harvest uh, either deer or turkeys, and um, then we go check them in. Actually, now we can check them in online. Indiana's got the the game check online. You can check your deer in and. Um, over my iPhone, it works pretty good. This other little pouch here, uh, I always carry a fork, spoon. That's crazy, but I've got it. Uh, if I want to, you never know. I, you know, I've been out and had to eat stuff in my fingers before. It's crazy, so I figure I'll just throw that in, and, and it'll be there. Uh, we get into the nuts and bolts of the bag here. Uh, we've got a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I'll just carry a pair. Uh, these are Rocky uh, thermal insulate gloves. Um, they do really well. They're waterproof. I've split the seams on them, uh, but they're still waterproof. So usually I'll wear a pair of Mechanics or rugged wear gloves. Um, but these are. Uh, I've ridden my motorcycle, my KLR, uh, in the rain with these things, and man, they work good. So. Uh, just a pair of gloves, uh, Carhartt uh, sock hat here. Um, that's good. Lose the uh, majority of the heat out of the top of your head, so that's good to have. Uh, just a camouflage uh, pullover uh, face mask uh, for robbing banks or whatever I need. No, I don't rob banks, but uh, it's in there for whatever I need. Uh, the next thing, this little pouch right here, this is just a a Remington uh, pouch and this is my I guess I would call it the first aid kit uh, it's really I it's, well if you watch nothing fancy's videos you know he's got level one level two and uh, major surgical <laughs> above that but um, this is just this is just a, a bare bones minimum thing um, carry a, a pair of uh, fingernail toenail clippers in there. Uh, I've got a uh, Victorinox uh, Swiss Swiss Army. It's got scissors and um, nail file and small blade on it. It works good. Uh, carry some tape, waterproof adhesive tape in there. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, carry carry a, a bar of soap. Um, See, so carry a. Uh, this is a Streamlight uh, LED light here. Uh, works pretty good, uh, just in case I need it um, in that particular bag. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, got some. Got some Advil uh, butterfly closures. Uh, some wet white towels in there. Uh, got some other 
uh, band-aids and gauze in there uh, bug dope this is this is really good stuff uh, it's a hundred percent DEET or like 99.9% .9 DEET uh, this stuff works good I don't use anything but this uh, another another just pen light can't have too many lights repetition is always good uh, let's see what else ah super glue carry a new package of super glue <clears throat> you can glue yourself back together in the field I've done it before works great <laughs> stings a little bit but works good uh, that's about all in that little first aid kit thing I've got going there um, just bare bones minimum uh, carry a, a Fiskars fiber comp trowel um, just a hand trowel this is like 88 cents at uh, I think it was Home Depot I was like 88 cents how in the world can they make any money 88 cents well picked it up done a little digging with it uh, it's good uh, you don't want to chop rocks with it but it works uh, the next thing is my uh, Gerber uh, you guys seen this knife before if you watch my other videos um, the Gerber Prodigy in the Tonto blade uh, serrated um, love that knife it's a good knife carry it in that bag oh let's see what else ah carry a this is a black and decker and you can't get these anymore uh, in black and decker you get these at Walmart um, it's a two-stage LED light and let me tell you what uh, you could actually spotlight animals with this uh, you can't get this particular model anymore uh, it's in the Remington brand uh, they carry it in a sporting goods section at Walmart usually around hunting season I've stocked up I've got two or three of them uh, put back um, not that it takes uh, <clears throat> what is it four uh, C cell batteries excellent light uh, I've used it for frog hunting and just all kinds of different stuff works really good one single LED in there um, dropped it in the water frog hunting uh, pretty well waterproof uh, didn't notice any repercussions from that carry that in there next thing uh, SOG got a SOG fast hawk in here now you're saying why in the world is he carrying freaking tomahawk well this thing you can chop pelvic bones of deer and uh, I've got that sucker just razor sharp and uh, I like that um, that's a good little good little carry uh, tomahawk chops uh, wood up good you've seen that I think I had this in one of my other videos on fire making or whatnot um, good good little deal and they only cost twenty dollars so I picked this one up at Walmart um, yeah good good little hawk I carry that in there short handled works well uh, the next thing I've got um, call it a cooking kit if you want this is like the bare bones minimum just got it in a dry sack here um, what it is is it's the other half of my Coleman Max um, cooking kit it comes with four aluminum anodized pots well the two bigger ones <clears throat> I carry in my bug out bag uh, along with a Coleman Max stove um, takes a, a butane propane uh, fuel cell uh, this one right here I've just got it rigged up uh, just a, a top cup and uh, this will hold 16 16 ounces of water in here um, <clears throat> yeah, I've been experimenting around and what I carry on the inside here is a can of sterno cooking fuel um, just your regular sterno and what I did was I made took some uh, aluminum flashing and made a uh, I guess a, a riser for it and it will it will boil water it takes a while uh, I haven't tried it in windy condition yet uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrap this and get another Coleman Max or a, uh, an 